Hello gentlemen, welcome to section 1.4 on physical properties of matter. Now in class we looked at in our investigation Plato and how it was combined with other substances and how those properties of the Plato might have changed or might not have changed. Now let's look at what a physical property actually is. A physical property is a property that can be observed without changing a substance into another substance. So the substance stays the same but something changes that can be observed about it, but you're not actually changing what the substance actually is at the compositional level. Now here are some examples of physical properties. So we'll go through them and talk about them a little bit. The first is texture. Texture is the feel or appearance of a surface or a substance. An example is clothing. Your clothing has different textures. Silk has a different texture than wool. The next <clears throat> physical property is uniformity. Uniformity is the consistency of a material. And you might ask the question, you know, is everything evenly distributed? For example, a homogeneous mixture. The consistency of the material, everything is uniformly distributed in a homogeneous mixture. Strength. Strength determines how durable the material is. You might also think of, think of it as how well the material will withstand the application of force how, and that determines how strong it is. An example of that would be Kevlar. Kevlar is the material that many bulletproof vests are made out of. Kevlar and uh, Teflon. Some other physical properties are elasticity, which is how well a material resists deformation and returns to its normal size and shape after a force has been applied to it. An example of that would be a rubber band. We all know that we can stretch rubber bands and they will go back to their original shape unless they are broken. Bounce. Bounce is the material's ability to return to its original position when it is dropped from a given height. So if you have a tennis, tennis ball, for example, if I take it, I bounce it, it comes back up. That property is known as bounce. And malleability. Malle malleability is how easy it is to roll or hammer out the material without breaking it apart. That's an important part. Without breaking it into pieces, you know, how well or how easy is it to actually hammer or roll out that material? An example would be in a metal that can be bent. So like a metal sheet or a metal rod, they'll be malleable if they can be bent. Now, we're talking about physical properties and in laboratory, you looked at how physical properties can change. So right now we're going to look at the changing of physical properties of a mixture. So in the laboratory you had your Plato, and you watched the properties change as you added different materials. Now Plato itself, it falls in a specific category of a type of mixture. It's called an emulsion. Emulsion is a colloid of one liquid suspended in another. So it's a little bit of information that's helpful for you. We know what a colloid is, now we know an emulsion. So as we added materials to the Plato, we change the properties. This happens in, in nature in many different ways, or not even in nature. Man does this in many different ways to advance technology. Man likes to make things called composite materials. A composite material is a heterogeneous mixture that uses characteristics of its components to make useful objects. That's very basic and very simple. A very easy way of thinking about that is here in the red. A solid made of two or more materials. That's composite material. Some examples of this would be a bulletproof clothing, fiberglass, blades on a helicopter, tank armor, you know, any technology you can pretty much think of is composite material. Two or more solids coming together that are useful for man. Now we use a lot of composite materials to make things stronger, to make things last longer, to make things um, resistant to a lot of the conditions of nature or wear and tear for people. So composite materials are very important for the advance, advancement of technology in our society. All right, gentlemen, take notes. Adios.